The Bevy game engine is entirely driven by an ECS, or Entity Component System. But unless you've been in the games industry for the last five years, you probably don't know what that means. An ECS, as its name suggests, is made up of three pieces. Entities, Components, and Systems. Everything in your game is an entity, which can be referred to by an ID. So it's easy to think of entities as effectively IDs like 1, 2, or 3, and so on. This includes the player, enemies, items, particle systems, tiles, moving platforms, and literally everything else. All of them can have their own IDs. Components, then, are data that we attach to those entities. Components in Bevy specifically are structs or enums that let us hold all sorts of data. This is how our entities get differentiated between player, enemy, tile, etc. For example, we could have a position component representing the position of an entity on a grid in two dimensions, or a damage component representing how much damage has been applied to an entity. A ground detection component could hold a value that tells us whether the player is on the ground or not, so we know if they should be able to jump, preventing, you know, infinite jumps. Or a power-up component could tell us which power-up just popped out of a block. Individually, these pieces of data are useful, but not all of them need to be updated. For example, a specific tile on the screen may never move which would mean its position is always the same. For the components that do need to be updated, we have systems. Systems are functions that are run by Bevy's ECS that can query and mutate components. We can use systems to query for user input, then update the position of tiles on the board, or query for collision events and update the damage component every time something hits an enemy. It might be hard to conceptualize the impact the ECS architecture, as described, has on our games. Consider the case of Bevy ECS tile map which is a crate designed to display tile-based maps like the ones you see in Hollow Knight, Celeste, and other 2D platformers. One of the really interesting visual elements in games like Hollow Knight comes from the animated tiles that show leaves moving, water dripping, or other atmospheric additions. With Bevy ECS Tile Map, we can address each individual tile to animate it, since each tile is its own entity. We do this by adding a GPU animated component to that entity that contains the set of tile IDs we want to display in the animation. Or with Bevy Hanabi, we can power particle effects by adding a particle effect bundle to a given entity, which can then power constantly. By querying for particle effect components in our system, we can trigger it on demand when a new collision happens. We can use components and systems for features as simple as incrementing a number or as complex as modeling rigid body physics simulations. It's a very flexible, composable, and powerful pattern that makes Bevy a joy to work with. Next, why don't you check out what it's like to make a 2D platformer with Bevy's ECS and Rust.